Hello friends, this is Akshay. Welcome to the new tutorial of Devotional Study. Today we'll be learning about uh, different kind of uh, controls in HTML forms. So let's get started. Hello guys. So let's start with our first control uh, tag that is the text field control. So uh, in order to uh, today I'll not exp uh, I mean I will not show you any theoretical part. I'll just uh, go for uh, I'll cover all the practical session. So with all the practical I mean with all those uh, text boxes and other controls. So let me save this code for you. I'll directly jump into the code section. So I've saved this as a simple control dot HTML right let's write the code here that is uh, HTML right so we'll come into the body section in the body section we'll have to write down the code so first uh, we are creating form right so we need to initiate form tag so in the form tag first I'll show you the text box right in order to create text box I'm giving a label here right and a text box in order to use a text box in order to take input from the user always remember if we are taking any input we are using input tag right so this should be the text that is the type attribute what kind of uh, input you're taking I mean the type shows uh, uh, is it a text box is it a drop-down list is it uh, a radio button what exactly it is right so that is the type for name should be for that particular tag if I'm using a text box I'm giving a name to that particular text box right so that it will be easier for us to understand and the most important thing is why we give a name for it because uh, if we are using a PHP ASP J JSP any language any service side uh, language if you're using so it's important so uh, in order to uh, make a use of a text box uh, in a better way we should use a name tag right name attribute so I'll give a name uh, here as first uh, name I'll keep it in a lowercase that will be easier okay so yeah so next I'll give the label as uh, input type text same and the name would be last name I'll give the last name here right I'll save this code let's run the code I'll go back to the directory this is our directory's code and I'll run this code let's see so first name and the last name one more thing let me show you as a basic thing so that in order to cover a next our next topic it will be easier for you guys to understand if I'm clicking on the first name and the last name nothing is happening you can see uh, if I'm clicking on first name and last name nothing is happening um, once I'll click on the text boxes then only it's, it's getting highlighted right okay that is the basic need of a code but now if I don't want to use these particular texts so in order to use an alternative the best alternative is to use a label tag so the next tag would be label tag I'll create a label here right and uh, I'll give the name for it like the text which will be displayed for a uh, for label tag that is first name and colon right I'll save it so that I can show you first how it's it's looking like so I'll reload the page so this code will be disappeared all right so as you can see first name is our label right so let's get back to the code and I'll redesign the same uh, code which we have created with text boxes and the normal text I'll create it with a label tag so uh, I'll use a for attribute I'll show you the property I'll show you the um, basic uh, what exactly this for attribute does is I'll give a name is first first name okay and I will create an input tag the way we did in the last example so I'll give a type here text okay name will be first right I will give it first name okay so let's give it uh, first name here okay it's the same right and one more thing let's give okay first let's show you the code before I do anything okay let's you can see here uh, right now 
this is our text box and this is our label if I'm clicking on the label tag right if I'm clicking this is our label tag right so if I'm clicking on it nothing is happening and uh, if on if I want to linked so basically what is the need of using label we, we would have used that uh, normal text instead of typing this complete code right In, instead of typing this uh, long tag but the at the the main motive is to use is it's to link both of these properties let's see how okay I'll give the name as first name see the for uh, and the ID the for tag and the ID tag both have similar values first name right so now they they are linked to each other I'm sorry for this okay we have linked uh, both the tags let's run the code again let me show you what is the difference now we have so if I'm clicking here it's getting clicked right it's getting highlighted all right if I'm clicking here again it's getting highlighted so that means this label this label is linked with the text box so I'm clicking here and something is happening it's basically both are linked right so that is the main reason we should use label instead of normal text right okay all right friends so our third tag the next tag would be the password field control so let's create a password field control tag I'll uh, start with password label it's not a label it's just a text so I'm using just the text here and I'll create an input tag here so the input tag will be type and we're taking input right so just uh, we'll mention the type as password and the name will give again password okay so uh, I just uh, give I just gave the name right so let's run the code and let's check I'm sorry for this uh, let's run the code here and let's uh, have a check what exactly the output we are getting here right so I'll go to the directory section once again and I will run the code so as you can see here we are getting label and the, I mean the text and the, the password field so once if I'll be typing any password here right so it's just giving the dots because it's this property the password type uh, the type equal to password this property shows we should never use or disclose the password to the user okay or anyone if right because why it is necessary because as you can see on see my screen right so you're not able to see what exactly I'm typing so just for the security purposes we use this property right so let's move on to our next tag here our next input tag that will be email field control so let's create an email field control here all right so I'll go back to the code section and I will name it as email all right so email and again I'm taking input so let's create an input tag so this time the email tag I mean the type equal to email only right it's very easy to create these kind of uh, tags because uh, whatever we want is just it's very easy to learn and even memorize it right so I'll save it and I'll show you how exactly it works so I'll go back to the same directory run the code and let's type the email here so I'm just typing name only right so as you can see if I press enter it says please include an add the rate in the email address and uh, this is missing right so if I'll again if I'll press enter Oh, sorry uh, the add rate symbol uh, so what will happen is again it will say it's incomplete because I didn't type the domain so I'll give the domain name as gmail.com right so if I'm pressing enter now it will take the value previously it didn't because it was incomplete it was not right so that is the reason it was showing the error message all right let's get back to the same code here and uh, let's move on to our next control that is radio button control I will show how to create radio buttons radio buttons is basically used to select one from the multiple options if you have two or three options and you want to select one value among those so you can just create a radio button control so I'll give a uh, give the name as uh, gender okay gender Oops, sorry all right now we we need to create two values so I'll give input again it will be radio now right and I will name it as gender and 
this time we'll have to give value here okay I will show you this property why we are putting value it's very important to understand this thing as well so again we, because we are creating two uh, radio buttons we need to take two gender values male and female so let's create value here again for female right so let's run uh, save this code and run the code again let's have a check what is happening here all right we have two radio buttons here and the gender label so either of uh, the radio buttons we can select right but it's not displaying the value it's not displaying the text because we didn't mention any text so I'll just enter a text here in front of the label uh, sorry the input tag all right I will give it as female I'll just save it and I'll run the code let's see what will happen yeah so male and female what exactly we did why is it not taking why it's not taking that this value because the value attribute it's it's basically for the server side language if we want to get this value and if we want to store this value on the server end we need to get this attribute I mean we need to mention this attribute it's very important and this is just for the user to understand like which radio button we are selecting actually right so when we get to know this is male and this is female then only we can select from those uh, uh, two options right right this is the basic uh, feature of a radio button right so in the next tutorial I'll be showing you more about controls so stay tuned and keep coding guys bye bye